know I'm not even allowed to touch his knives. You know, he takes them home with him just to be sure. It drives me crazy. But other than that, you're happy in your work? Well, luckily, I've got my street food van to focus on. It'll be up and running soon, a mile on his bad from ever stepping <laughs> foot on it. Um, what time is your solicitor's meeting? Oh, it's later this morning. You know, Aaron's got the plea hearing coming up in a few days. Well, I do now. Sorry, I just, you know, I thought maybe... I've been trying to give him some space. Look, if it can't, you know, I've got to go. Rob, you don't still want to buy half a pub, do you? Oh, Chaz, please. You seriously can't kid a kid here. Like as if you'd even consider selling to him. Vic, I'll see you later. Of course I wouldn't. But the point is, you better get that money together sharpish, or I will have to find somebody else. Please don't let that happen. It's in hand. Well, I hope so. Because Doug was serious yesterday. They won't be messed about. Neither will I. Hi, Megan. How's Eliza? Any news on her coming home? Uh, well, it could be soon. Um, actually, I'm on my way to the hospital now. Oh, yeah. oh, she... oh. oh she's gorgeous. <laughs> she really is. Oh, poor little mind. Oh. She's fine. She'll get everything she needs. Oh. That's my job. Well, she's loved, and that's what's important. Well, just as well, because the money that I got for my share of the business isn't going to last as long as I thought. Oh, speaking of which, how's wedding plans going? Oh, Oh, yeah, yeah good. Uh, We've got rehearsal. Later on. Yeah, this afternoon, um, in the church. Uh, we would have asked you to have organised it, obviously, if we could have afforded it, like a shop. You know, that's if you were still part of the business, yeah, but... Yeah. Oh, it's fine. Mm. Good luck with the one through. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, look, about the Not now, Jay. No, 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 I just wanted to say, anything you need, you know, for Eliza or, or whatever, you don't have to worry, financially. Who says I'm worried? I just want to help in any way I can. Thanks. I can manage. Are you OK? No, not really. Yeah, Dad said Charity came round yesterday. You worried she might want to take him back? <laughs> She doesn't care about that little boy. She wouldn't know how. <sighs> she just winds me up, that's all. You sure that's it, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bottles came. It's one for you, and as usual, none for me. That's for my solicitor. Confirming the sale of my dad's house. Yes. Full steam ahead for the new flat then, yeah? Wow. Right, I better get to work. And try not to worry about charity, yeah. You gotta go for the Chris every time. I don't like Chris anymore. Yeah, right. Go on, my treat. David, I'm gonna pay for these, yeah? Hey. I miss you. I'm always waiting in the car. Yeah, OK. Well, have a good day, kiddo. <sighs> so, got any uh, big plans for the wool pack once you take over from Diane? I'll keep you posted. Do you know what I like? Quiz nights. Love a good pub quiz. Go on, ask me anything. OK, why are you still talking? Good. Well, you think it over. I'm surprised your mum's let him out of her sight after I had him yesterday. No. She's glad his mum wants to spend time with him. Really? She said that? No, actually, she hasn't said much. What were you talking about yesterday? Oh, you know, just being friendly. He's so got my nose. Shame. Huh? He doesn't agree. Still, he makes up for it with my charm, though. What? No comeback? Must be losing your touch, Charity. Oh, please. I mean, look at him. Dribbling. And he's still got more charm than you'll ever have. Um, oh, no, please tell me you need him. Uh, yeah, well, I do, actually. She appreciates me, you see, unlike some. What is it, love? Uh, well, I know it's a bit last minute, but we've got a rehearsal at the church later on this afternoon. Can you make it? Uh, I'm not sure oh, I don't can. Don't worry. He'll come with bells on. Don't worry. I can manage things myself here. Great. See you at 2.30, then. <laughs> Who asked you to stick your neb in? Oh, that's rich coming from you. Let me guess. You're worried because you haven't done the father of the bride speech? <sighs> and then there's that. You know what, I don't know how long I can go on pretending everything's fine. When the truth is, I wish to God this wedding wasn't happening. 
Two coffees, please, Jez. Milk. Yeah. yeah, please. Layla, can I have a word? Actually, I've, uh, I've got to meet some clients for a drink. Oh, that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you about. I'd like us to be partners again. You know, business partners. Really? Yeah, well, I've still got most of the money left from when you bought me out, and uh, if you let me reinvest and come back on board, we can leave the past behind us. Oh, sorry, I, 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 I don't really know what to say. <laughs> well, you can pay nickel back. I don't mean to put you on the spot, and I don't expect an answer straight away, but if you can think about it. We were a good team once. We can be again. Well, you've got to admit, she played a blinder there. Uh, that was a private conversation. Not only did you steal her husband, but she's also got a little sick baby. The choice is entirely yours. Venice, taxi's out back. Mm -hmm. okay. oh, thanks, Jess. So, she's right, though, isn't she? How can I say no? It's your business, Lily. You can do what you want. Let's face it, you could do with a cash injection after what Priya and Rakesh did. Yeah, that's true. You... But aside from that, since I've bought her out, I have put a lot of effort into that business, and to be honest, I don't know if I want to share. So tell her that. Is it too early for whiskey? Well, either way, you've come to the wrong place. Take it the meeting with this list didn't go too well, then. Well, let's just say Chrissy's making sure I come out of this marriage with as close to nothing as is legally possible. Oh, good honour. I wasn't talking to you, Andy. You went into that marriage with nothing. Or have you forgotten that? And by my reckoning, Chrissy owes you even less. You OK? Hmm? Yeah. I've just been thinking. Are we doing the right thing? Well, are you, um... you having second thoughts about the flats? No, not exactly. I just want to make sure. Well, I am. Really? Yeah. Sorry, look, um... What do you think about these? New development at the other side of Rugglesfield. I'm sure Rakesh's flats will be great, but I think we could do with a bit more space. It'd be nice to have a garden for Moses, eh? I'm not sure. I don't know if it's right for us. I mean, apart from anything else, these are more expensive, aren't they? Yeah, but look at what you get for your money. And, well, I know you're worried about what's going to happen now the charity's back. But one way or another, Moses is always going to be in our lives. Look, I've ambushed you with this. I, um... I need to get back to work. We'll talk about it later. Yeah, good idea. You just surprised me, that's all. Yeah. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Just so you know, pub deal's probably off. Chaz is finding someone else. So if I don't get my money by tomorrow, me and Moses are out of here. So I'll give you about an hour to think about it. Pop around in an hour, yeah. Hiya. Oh, thank you, dear. Hiya. You remember that young man I was telling you about? Daniel, who comes in the surgery. Oh, how could I forget? Let's see, he, um, has a spaniel. And that's about it. Well, maybe you can ask him more yourself because he's on his way right now. Oh, Pearl, please tell me you're joking. I told you I wasn't interested. Yeah, well, weren't too late. Here he is now. <sighs> Daniel. You must be Harriet. Everyone calls me Danny. Well, I'll, uh, I'll give you a bit of space. Oh, and don't forget to pop into the surgery for those worming tablets. <laughs> Perfect. So, uh, Danny. Where's the dog? I just leave him in the car. You might hear him barking in a bit. You, you don't leave him in the car to bark. Well, I think he's joking. You, you are joking. Ah. Oh. Right. Can I get you a drink, something to eat? Yep. Well, the food is excellent here. I'll get the menus. Money or baby, what's it going to be? 
You're not right in the flaming head. We've got rights. Ross's name's on the birth certificate. Oh, please, it's a piece of paper. Won't do you much good when we're long gone, will it? So are you getting the money or not? £50,000? Yeah. That's right, not a penny left. And Moses stays with us, right? No going back. Fifty grand and he's all yours. <laughs> what am I doing? This is madness. You're a natural habitat, surely. Look, just give me a call when you get the money. Although, you do look a bit frazzled. Maybe Moses is better off with me after all. It might take a few days. Well, you've got until tomorrow, haven't you? Hello! Oh, here he is. Surprising, isn't it, how quickly you start to miss him? OK. What's the deal here? So much going on. I'll see you later. You can bank on it. Start talking. What's she up to? And don't try telling me it's nothing, because I know you and I know her. So come on, out with it. Go away, Eric. <laughs> I could open the door for you if you're having trouble. How can I go in there and just pretend everything's fine when it so clearly isn't? Laurel's marrying the man she loves. But she's setting herself up for serious heartbreak. I want her to be happy more than anything. But given what she knows, Ashley's dementia. The man she's marrying is slowly disappearing. One day he'll wake up and he ain't gonna be Ashley anymore. One morning, he'll wake up and he will not have a clue who Laurel is. How can her happiness be anything but fleeting? I'd take it. Wouldn't you? I don't know that I would. To be the one left behind. Some fun. I'll give her that. Ah. You um, you said no though, right? She's dead serious, Ross. I can't let her take him. No, the only thing she's taking is you for a ride. You haven't. Oh, Mum, please tell me you haven't given her any money. No, of course not. Not yet. Because she's bluffing. Why would she even ask you? Because she knows I've got the money. And because she knows there's a good chance that I'll give it to her. I'd do anything for that little boy. We need to tell Dad what's going on. Oh, no, we don't. Your dad can never know about this. I don't get it, why not? Because if he finds out what I did... Oh, what have you done? Do you remember when Noah went missing? Well... I was the one who hid him away. You know, you really should have come with me. Looks like you did fine on your own. That is a very impressive haul. Oh, I'm no amateur. Don't worry, my own money. That's none of my business. Hi, all right? Yeah, just like you know, the pheasant pens are all fixed up. Pheasants look a lot happier now. And what does a happy pheasant look like? Well, to be honest, exactly the same as usual. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of Robert's face when I told him I was divorcing him. I saw him at the cafe earlier, whining on to Vic about how you're going to leave him with next to nothing. Oh, why doesn't that surprise me? No, well, I told him. He was way out of line. Maybe, but he's still your brother. Well, to be fair, it would be pretty hard to defend him, family or not. Exactly. Right, well, I think I'll do another hour or so. You really don't have to. No, it's OK. I'm enjoying it. Hey, do you think Sam might want to do a job swap? 
If I thought you were serious, I would have you like a shot. Well, I guess the novelty might wear off eventually. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. She means well. <clears throat> Who's that Harriet's with? Blind date, apparently. <laughs> I'm sorry, love. Some came up last minute at the B&B. I never was one for rehearsing, did oh, Don't worry, Dad. You didn't miss much. We just had a quick rehearsal of the day. So, seems to be going well. Does, doesn't it? Nice to see you looking happy. Yeah. Looks like we're all moving on. <laughs> Let me get this straight. I did it for you. How else do you think I got your name on Moses' birth certificate? By agreeing to hide Noah so Kane and Moira thought he was missing. It was Charity's plan. What, and you just went along with it? No one was hurt. You hid a small boy. No more doubting where I get my crazy from. I did it for this family. We can't let her take him, Ross. He's better off with us, you must know that. And if it's what it takes, then I'm giving her the money. No. No, you are not. She must have thought all her Christmases came at once with you. No, you leave Charity to me. I'm going to make sure she regrets this. Hey! What are you having, your usual? A pint and a whiskey chaser? Are we really going to live here? Absolutely. You know what that means, don't you? Free crisps? Every single day. I'm sorry, Noah, that I've not been there for you. But I reckon we have a lot of time to make up for it now, if you fancy. I mean... I love living at the farm. I know you do. She's your mum. I understand, it's okay. Well, I say it's better than okay. You can come and get some of his stuff now if you like. Oh, there's no need. I've already packed a bag. It's in the car. Me and Noah had a chat this morning, didn't we? Thanks, Myra. Hey, listen, don't take it personally. You've done a great job. But you can only have one mum. Isn't that right, Noah? Yeah, well. I'll get your bike from the car, then. Hey, it's you. Yeah. All right. My lift's here. Yeah. I should probably quit while I'm ahead. <laughs> not sure you're ready to see me when I'm plastered. You mean you're not already? OK, just me, then. <laughs> anyway, it was uh, really nice to meet you, Daniel. Take care. You too. Maybe see you around sometime. Danny, hang on. Um, you uh, never tell me what your dog was called. Right, no. Um, it's called Graham. <laughs> yeah, of course he is. Listen, if you fancy it, maybe we could do this again sometime. I like that. Me too. Andy! Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to make you jump. I've just come in to wash some mugs. No, I, I didn't know you were still here. Guess I got carried away. Well, that can happen. <clears throat> so the pheasant's still happy? Best go and check for yourself. Right, well, uh, I'll leave you to it. I'm gonna have to start paying you overtime at this rate. <laughs> Don't be daft. I want nothing to go on to. No, of course. Yeah. It helps just to keep busy. Well, I I'm not complaining, I just, um, there's more to life than work, you know. I'm gonna leave a room for some fun. It's all right. Well, let's hope so. See you tomorrow. Night. Night. Told you about our little arrangement, has she? You think I'm just gonna let you move away with my son? I thought we were staying here. Here we are. Ross is just confused. Don't worry about it. I'm not taking you anywhere. This is our home now. Why don't you go inside and ask Auntie Chas for some ice cream? Go on. 
I knew you were bluffing. Ignore what I just told him. I can't take him with me as well, can I? Ah. So you're looking after the one you love and selling the one you don't. I know you. No, you don't. Trust me, I surprise myself sometimes. And this is a very good deal for everyone, as far as I'm concerned. You want to tell people what my mum did with Noah? Go ahead. Not exactly going to look great for you either, is Fine, it? Fine, well then I will take Moses and you will lose him. You were barking on the wrong tree. So find some other mug. Do you know, I was so hoping I didn't have to play my ace card quite so soon. But needs must. You're boring me now. Really? Because I know it was you that pulled that trigger. You shot Robert, didn't you? Debbie told me. Yeah, that's right, I'm a mother. She tells me everything. So you might want to reconsider your position here. Don't know what you're on about. I've got enough on you to make sure you'll be sending Moses' first birthday card from a prison cell. And a whole lot more after that. You know, toying with your mum was good fun. But I think you're my golden ticket now, Ross. So you'd better dig deep. Next here on ITV, there's trouble at the salon. It's our first trip tonight to the Coronation Street Cobbles. Then coming up tonight at nine, travel to the Arctic Circle with Davina McCall as new life at the extreme continues. <laughs>